This team of marine biologists monitor squid and other fish stocks in the southwest Atlantic. The head scientist is Russian Alexander Arkipkin, who says they see a worrying trend. The problem uh, is that, uh, of course, with the increasing amount of uh, fishing vessels on the high seas, the stock actually of squid and of hicks as well, they're becoming more volatile. So, and it's a huge risk of overfishing of that stock and of complete crush of that stock, which is very one of the most important stocks in the world. For a number of years, our Kipkin has worked on these islands, which Argentina calls the Malvinas, but which the United Kingdom and the islanders call the Falklands. There are agreements between fishing nations around the world that look to manage and conserve international fisheries. But this part of the South Atlantic is the only region in the world not to have one of those agreements. The reason is the relationship between Argentina and these islands. Since the 1982 war, these islands have had a tense relationship with nearby Argentina. The situation deteriorated under President Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. But a 2016 declaration signed with the Mauricio Macri government pledged to improve the economic relationship. In the joint communique, the two countries agreed to remove all obstacles limiting the economic growth of sustainable development of the Falkland Islands, including trade, fishing, shipping and hydrocarbons. Local Assembly member Barry Elsby says there's one issue the islands and Argentina will not agree on, but he welcomes improved dialogue between the two. We're not going to talk about sovereignty. Let's put it on the top shelf. We're not going to talk about it. But let's talk about other things. Let's talk about exchanging fishing data so that those fish that move between Argentine waters and the Falkland waters are looked after and not overfished. Fishing is vital to the livelihood of this community. In the late 1980s, fishing licensing began, and local businessman Stuart Wallace says the impact on the local economy was immediate. The year of the declaration of the fishery, the revenues of the government went from something like four or five million to something like 40 million. It was almost immediate, uh, immediately beneficial. Our prospects were, were transformed by the declaration of the fishery. So protecting fish stocks is vital for these islands, but also for Argentina, which is a major exporter. Squid and other fish from this region end up in restaurants across Europe and Asia. To ensure that continues, scientists are hopeful the politicians will reach an agreement in talks, which are due to take place in May in Buenos Aires. Joel Richards, CGTN.